With the new release of Forensic Studio and Spotlight 9.0, one of the major changes that we made is the icon, the logo of the software itself. The old version, as you can see here on my right, is the uh, image of a butterfly. And then the new version here for Forensic, Forensic Studio is this sleek uh, letter F here. So it's a little bit more contemporary. In our latest Forensic Studio 9.0, here I'm in Forensic, we have applied some tool tips for you for certain filters. Uh, for example, if you go to Crop, if you hover over percent, it'll give you a little bit explanation on what that would do, padding and percentage. Uh, another one would be in light and color. If you hover over S for shadows or H for highlights. So some of these features we um, have provided some tool tips for you to give a further explanation. Right. Another feature we have, uh, we'll go to Spotlight. Uh, as you can tell, we have added Advanced Timeline View which allows for a larger view here in the player area. If you hit on Advanced Timeline View, you'll see that this portion here would disappear. That'll give you a bigger player view. And then you can unclick it, and it'll come back. In this feature, We'll show that we have provided you with the classic view, which has the project pane on the left side. To give you more player area uh, workspace here, what we have provided is the ability to give you the option to have a classic view, or you can remove or hide this project pane area. To do that in the 9.0 version, you'll go to Tools, Options, under the general tab where it says classic project browsing, you can turn that off. Click OK. Yes. And then you can restart the software again. Give it some time. And as you can see here, the project pane area has been removed. And you can readjust this portion here. So now you have more workspace in your player area. And the same thing applies in Spotlight. If you go to Spotlight, you can go to Options, and you can turn back on the classic browsing view or leave it as is without the project pane. In this tutorial, Spotlight 9.0, we will demonstrate how to import a video containing its subtitles. So we accept SRT, SSA files, and ASS files for subtitles. So what I'm going to do, I'll import this video in. And then here's my subtitle file. As you can see, it has the SRT file extension. I'm also going to drop that in and it creates these keyframes. I'm going to go ahead and advance forward and we're going to go play and you'll see the subtitles here. Good, how you guys doing? Uh, you know, is it their problem? Uh, no, just checking out on you guys. You were just parked here for a while. Okay. That is how you use the subtitle feature. Another feature that we have enabled is the ability to move audio segments. So for example, here in my channel one audio, I'm going to create a segment here and I'm, let's just uh, use this as mod modulate for the properties. So now you have the ability to move this to a different segment, uh, to, to a different area on the timeline. So all you have to do is Click and hold onto that segment and just drag it. Again, just click and drag, click and drag. So it allows you to move the segment to any part on the timeline. 
Our next feature in Spotlight 9.0, we have implemented the ability to control the volume of the beep. So for example, here we had added the beep audio property. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, if you look on the right side, you have this feature here to either de increase or decrease the level of intensity. So let's put it in the middle and test this out. Play. And let's just bring it down. So you don't hear it as much. Let's bring it back up. So it's a little bit louder. Bring it back to the middle. Another modification we have made in the Spotlight 9.0 is the Hide Layer Geometry feature. As you can see here in the 8.10 version, it used to be located on the right column, this button here. However, in the 9.0, we have moved it to the toolbar section, so it's right here. So what we're going to do, we had created um, a redaction here in these two faces. You can press and hold down the letter P on your keyboard and the geometry disappeared. If you release the letter P on your keyboard, it reappears. So it gives you the ability to control whether you want the geometry to show or not show. Also, you can also, on your mouse, you can just click on the button, hold it down, or release on your mouse button. Another cool feature that we have placed in Spotlight 9.0 is the ability to resize your objects using hotkeys. Um, what you're going to do is create your ellipse here. If you press and hold down the letter X on your keyboard, as you can see, it gets bigger. So if you press the or hold down the letter C, it shrinks. Also, if you use the arrows on your keyboard, it'll change the uh, directions of the ellipse also. So go ahead and use the left arrow, it gets smaller. If you use the down arrow, it gets shorter, vice versa. Use the up arrow, gets bigger or longer. Um, use the right arrow, it expands. In this tutorial of Spotlight 9.0, we will demonstrate how to resize object using the manual tracking tool. Here we have this skier. What I'll go ahead and do is create my ellipse for redaction here over this particular person and then I'm gonna go ahead for easy access for easy maneuvering I'm going to manipulate the playback speed uh, you can change it to the normal speed or reduce it or increase it but I'll go ahead and reduce it and then here's my manual tracking tool I'm gonna go ahead and click on that as you can see it create a yellow ellipse outline over it and remember to, when you're resizing the object, to increase the size of the ellipse, you'll hit X on your keyboard, or to decrease the size, you'll hit C. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to press and hold down my mouse button to manually track this object as it's automatically being played. I'm going to go ahead and hit X. And then I'm going to hit C. As you can see, it got smaller. Again, X increases. C on your keyboard decreases. That is how you use the X and C keys on your keyboard to merely help you change the size of the ellipse during your manual redaction. We have another feature. It's the ability to configure the option for auto play on starting manual redaction. So in this case, we have this object here. If we press the manual tracking tool, 
it will not autoplay the video. But what we can do is go up to Tools, go to Options, Custom. There's this feature here, Autoplay, when manual tracking is started. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Click OK. Come back here. Click on the manual tracking tool. And when I press on, press on this object, it's going to play the video. A feature we have implemented in Spotlight 9.0 is the ability to cycle through all layers using hotkeys on your keyboard. So for instance, uh, the hotkeys that you will be using, or sh shortcuts, will be the letter Q on your keyboard or the shift plus Q on your shift board, sh keyboard. So what we'll go ahead and dem demonstrate here is I'm going to click here in the channel zero audio layer. As you can tell, right now I'm in this layer. If I click on Q, it'll move up to channel one. If I move Q, click on Q again, they will go into all channels and then do Q again. It'll be in this layer here. Brown in the ellipse layer. Okay. And same thing goes for shift and Q. It keeps moving. 